welcome to the celebration of Holy Communion by Bishop Cal Lippett at the Catacomb Chapel of St. Uriel of the Universal Episcopal Church. Wherever you are, especially if circumstances prevent you from receiving the sacrament physically, you are welcome to spiritually receive the sacrament here with us. Church Back Home is a presentation of the Universal Episcopal Church and the Wise Ones Net. Universal Episcopal Church is an independent religious body. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Almighty Lord and everlasting God, vouchsafe, we beseech thee to direct, sanctify, and govern both our hearts and bodies in the ways of thy laws and in the works of thy commandments, that through thy most mighty protection, both here and ever, we may be preserved in body and soul. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, give unto us the increase of faith, hope, and charity, that we may obtain that which thou dost promise. Make us to love that which thou dost command. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. The epistle is written in the letter to the Galatians, beginning in the fifth chapter in the sixteenth verse. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth after, for the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murderers, drunkenness, revelings, and the like of the which I tell you before, 
as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to St. Luke. Glory be to thee, O Lord. And it came to pass as Jesus went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria, Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down at his, on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Praise be to thee, O Christ. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost to the Virgin Mary, and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. One of the things about this epistle that strikes me has to do with one of my favorite observations of people and how rules and prohibitions suddenly some make something more attractive to them. I remember living in the dorms in college and the dorm counselor came down with a new rule no singing in the showers. For some of us, that was the first time we ever gave any thought to singing in the showers. I think you can probably think of a few examples in your own life. As a teenager, I spent a lot of time studying foreign languages and meeting people from places where that language that I was studying was the native language. And I remember some, meeting some students from Europe where, well, in Europe, basically you can buy alcoholic beverages 
as long as you can put your money up on the bar. Although they don't have that many bars there. Restaurants, yes. Various other places. But the European, the European students, people at the time my own age, 15, 16, 17, couldn't understand the big deal that we Americans made about drinking. It was just a part of life to them. And so what? And I'm not going to nitpick definitions of what the various things were in the various wrongful lusts, etc. But take a look and take a look at the fruits of the Spirit and I think you'll find that uh, they do very nicely cancel each other out. Well, not so much cancel each other out, but you follow the Spirit. The better part of the other stuff you'll have without the negative stuff. You can have a drink once in a while. You're just not going to get yourself lushed up. Okay? That sort of thing. But, yeah. The spirit and the flesh pretty much exclude each other. And it works nicely. And so would it be. God is not unrighteous that he will forget your works and labor. It proceedeth of love which love ye have showed for his name's sake, who have ministered unto the saints and yet do minister. Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle hast taught us to make prayers and supplications, and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. 
especially Todd, Beverly, JF, Barb, Tom, Trinity, Deborah, Christopher, Natalie, J.A., John, Cassandra, Hope, Katrina, Melissa, Lewis, Rebecca Priest, Mark Bishop, and Munir Bishop. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants to departed this life in thy faith and fear, especially Jacques Priest, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw on here with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We earnestly repent and are utterly sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life. To the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you from all good, in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that, he, that all that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is a true saying and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Or also what St. John said, If any man sin, we have an agreement with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto Thee. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify Thy glorious name, evermore praising Thee and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of Thy glory. Glory be to Thee, O Lord, Most High. Amen. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All glory be to thee, Almighty God. 
our Heavenly Father, for that Thou, for Thy tender mercy, didst give Thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by His one oblation of Himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in His holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that His precious death and passion, sacrifice, until His coming again. <clears throat> for in the night in which He was betrayed, He took bread. And when He had given thanks, He broke it and gave it to His disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with thy, thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseech thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We do not presume to come to this, thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same, Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood. 
and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul of everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance of Christ died for thee. Be like him in that word by faith. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul into everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee and be thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul into everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for thee. And be thankful. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the sight of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesu, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Separated from thee, let me never be. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come unto thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee. Forever and ever. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you within my soul, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally. Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us. We have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most blessed, precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. And this assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness toward us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of Thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of His most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech Thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with Thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as Thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with Thee and the Holy Ghost, be honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to thee, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory. The glory is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Thank you.
This has been a presentation of the Wise Ones Net. Merry part and blessed be.